Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Sag, all right, how are you coming into the reading? Um, the world, very nice, with the Hierophant. So some of you could have gotten married or did something really significant. You closed some cycle, next, le next level. Yeah, Two of Wands, moving, Five of Cups with the Hermit and the Nine of Cups. This is either getting married, close the cycle in terms of good news, or this is closing out a relationship. This could even be disappoint disappointment. Seven of Swords. Somebody could be disappointed because their spell work didn't didn't hit. It didn't, you know, didn't take no effect. Somebody's trying to go back to the drawing board and try to figure out how they can get what they want out of a particular person. What is this about for? Uh, Sagittarius there could be someone that's really focused on like career matters um, they found financial stability between doing two different things but they're most, I don't know they're really career driven whomever this is the five of cups though with the hermit it's like loss hurt missing missing out missing someone Longing for. Oh, you could even feel like some, the door is closed for you, Sag, or vice versa. Like somebody's closed the door on you or you close the door for them. Somebody feels like it's a no-go. And maybe that's why they're spying with the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You know, looking in on you, trying to go undetected. Because um, something could be a no-go. Somebody's saying no. Close. No. Maybe lack of morality, lack of um, regard. Somebody said, I'm closing out this relationship, this situation ship, because you didn't regard me. You didn't hot, hold me in regard when we were together. It was lawless. It was, um, yeah, it, immoral. No values, no hierarchy, just doing whatever you wanted to do. Yeah, King of Wands. It's like, that could have been you, Sag. Somebody was just... Uh, they had more than one person and they were treating everybody the same. Somebody wanted to be singled out and made special or, or, or treated special. What is this about? Yeah, the gift. Somebody felt like I'm a gift. You know, so there could have been a, a ring or something exchanged here. Yeah, distant horizons. So ring, distant horizon. High honor. Somebody's trying to get married or somebody did get married. Yeah, privileged lady. Someone's trying to get someone to marry them so that they could become the privileged lady. Someone did get married. Someone is a privileged lady. Well, yeah, sudden wealth. It's like somebody's like, if I can get this guy to marry me, the king of wands, then I will have sudden wealth. You know, I'll be the privileged lady. I have high honor. You know, someone's really, somebody's spell work didn't hit. And then somebody knows that it's over. Somebody's going somewhere else. Somebody's definitely got more than one person that they're dealing with. Somebody's trying to get someone to choose them. Make the choice of me. Can't make it up thoughts of how do I get this person to choose me? How do I get the ring? How do I get the yes? How do I get the approval? How do I get the committed relationship with the house? Somebody could be going to go pay for spell work also from the mature woman. Far from the significator, she gives kind of like bad advice. Yep. With the imprisonment card. Something is going back on the other person. Somebody's spell work is falling back on them. They're not even getting what they want. All right, let's see what is going on for Sag here. Somebody's will is strong. Nasty white shirt. Somebody is definitely doing something they ain't supposed to be doing here. You know, behind the scenes here. Somebody could just be all about, you know, corruption. 
also, you know, corrupting what is meant to be white, making it nasty, dirty. Queen of Swords. Um, somebody wants to be the victor. Somebody cut somebody off or cut them out because they were trying to... Something didn't reciprocate or it, they weren't getting what they want. Somebody was giving more. Yeah, um, the Knight of Wands. Somebody was like in and out, flighty, a charmer, seductive, sultry, uh, up for challenges, coming in to get what they wanted and then leaving. New Moon. So somebody may have cut this out, cut a cord on a new moon. Somebody's open for new opportunity, blessings, manifesting something new, a clean slate. She devil. I can't make this shit up. Some woman is really trying to get some man. She doing all kind of spells. Get some man to marry her. Yep. Knight of Swords. Change his mind. She's determined to get someone to change their, their mind. What is this about? One more card for Sagittarius. I can't even it flipped out. Somebody is trying to get a diamond, baby. They're trying to get the real thing. They don't want this fake stuff no more. And look how they're going about it. Like a weasel. Deceitful, treacherous person. They gain achievement by being cunning and deceitful. Birds. They really a bird. They don't have much to offer. Maybe they got a bird brain. Um, because somebody feels like the other person isn't as smart. Yeah, um, maybe even emotionally um, immature. Let's leave you with some advice to move forward. Someone could be trying to eavesdrop, getting news about you or messages about you by doing the tarot or going to somebody and getting advice. Be cautious. Um, let's see, moving forward. What is the advice for Sag? Okay, this flipped out. Lightning. But it came out in reverse. So something is not happening fast. Some sudden change. Shocking news is not revealed. There's no upheaval and no transformation. Somebody's spell work is not taking any effect on somebody. Somebody's will is real strong. The golden mirror. Somebody could be dealing with a narcissist. Self-absorbed. A one-sided relationship. That's why somebody cut this out. Somebody was love bombing. Let's see what else. Girl talk. Time with friends. Moving on. Happily single. Living in the moment. Somebody could be getting, you know, just moving on here. Because somebody was dealing with a narcissistic paradigm there. Hammer. Yes. Yeah, sabotage. Rebuilding. Persistent working on a repetitive. This is that person who's doing that energy work. They just keep doing it. Yeah, because they feel like they found love. Uh, or they found money. I don't know. They found one of attractiveness, you know, passion, affection. This is what they want. Somebody's doing something behind the scenes so that they can be the privileged lady. Hoping that somebody doesn't pick up on what they're doing. It could be you, Sag, working with someone to make somebody change their mind. To get what you want. To get victory. The Six of Wands. It could be you. It could be someone else. This is what I have for you. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and then if you're a business-minded individual, you can sign up for the KTMG Keep the Momentum Going monthly conference call where you'll be linked with other entrepreneurs and you'll get practical and spiritual advice as to how to grow, maintain, or start your business. And then if you want to connect with me, go ahead and if you're a business-minded individual and you want to connect with me, go ahead and schedule your complimentary discovery call. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally or even physically and this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations if you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction then you're in the right place as a successful entrepreneur spiritual guide and intuitive business coach I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. 
with decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin